Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and I am here my last uh, evening at home before I get ready to go to my uh, scrapbook retreat tomorrow. It's going to be a weekend long thing. It's actually at a lodge um, here in Indiana, and um, so I am so, so excited. We actually got eight inches of snow where I live last night, and we were so afraid that they were going to cancel um the retreat because the lodge is kind of way back in the hills but we got the word today that the retreat is on and i am so super excited so um i just wanted to show you all before i do anything to it because i've mentioned that i, I want to be working on an altered book i've never done one before i have watched numerous numerous videos but i am not following anybody's pattern um kind of marching to the beat of my own drum, I guess you should say. It's a very beginner's drum, uh, having never done this before. But I kind of just wanted to start out and, and just start with a page at a time and see what I can come up with. But I wanted to show you all the uh, beginning of the book, um, kind of a before and after. And actually, what I did was I, I got this book for a dollar at a flea market. And... Uh, the reason that I chose it, of course, you know, in a flea market, there's probably thousands of old books. The reason that I chose this book, um, it is old, and it was from 1939, was the last publication date on it. And um, it has got lots of imperfection. So I was really okay with that. I thought, well, that's kind of cool. You know, I'm not looking for a book that's brand new. I'm looking for a book that looks old. Um it had a, a pretty good binding on it, and um, I play the piano, so, you know, I love music, and I love music notes, so this was, you know, kind of close to my heart, and it's just an old hymnal, and what I've done, I took probably at least half, if not more than half of the pages out, uh, going by the signatures, um, pulling them out that way, and then what I've done is I've glued them together, and made them um, pretty tough. My, my goal was to get them to kind of come out like chipboard. And so I think I've done a pretty good job of that. Um, you can kind of hear that pop. So, and it, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. Um, and then I think, I think I counted, I think there's 14 or 15 of these pages front and back. So it would be like 30 pages, I guess. And then um, I also wanted to show you all really quickly what I used to glue this together because I had never used this product before, but I will definitely be using it again. I had showed this on a haul the other day. It is the wrinkle-free, the Scotch wrinkle-free glue stick. Um, I ended up using, this is actually, let's see, my fifth one. Um because this was my third package. So I, I used um, four and started, well, about four and a half of these glue sticks. Uh, but I wanted to show you all, it, you know, it, it's, it, it's just pretty much like any other glue stick, but it has a real stickiness to it that I have not seen on other glue sticks. Maybe there's some high qual higher quality glue sticks out there, but, you know, I'm kind of used to the Elmer's glue sticks, and they're really not that big of a deal. This has got a real sticky quality to it. When you lay it on the page, it actually has um, the texture, the feel kind of, of a tape runner. And it is like a tape runner. Once you lay it down, you're not picking it up. It's... It, it, I mean, it's it's a, got a very strong bond, and you know at, when it dried, dried very very taut. Um, I did do one page in here. I ran out before, and then I had to go to Michaels and get a couple more packages, and so I did one page in here with this glue that I had bought the other day. And what I did was I uh, watered it down a little bit and used a brush and smoothed it on. Um, and tried to get it not, and I didn't water it down a lot, but I wanted to show you all the difference because the, uh, 
the catch-all on this is it's supposed to be wrinkle-free. Well, I want to show you all the difference. So this page is using the wrinkle-free glue stick. This page is using the uh, glue that I diluted. It, it's a very thick glue, this glue is. You really can't, um, for page gluing, it was too thick to, to be applied as it was. But I want to see if you can see the difference. Um, see if I can tilt this. So can you see the bubbles and the wrinkles and all that in there? And then look at the difference in this page. So I, I you know, <laughs> I have to say it's wrinkle free. It really did a good job. So um, I will definitely be getting that again. And then I used my little tool that my uh, scrapper friend gave me the other day in my Happy Mail haul. Um, to you know smooth down the pages as I was going but you can tell a real big difference between the wrinkle free glue and just the regular glue um, so anyways uh, I am getting ready to go pack for my trip tomorrow but I wanted to show you all this and hopefully when I come back from retreat on Sunday I will have something done to it and I don't know what I honestly have no idea I've got a couple of books that I'm going to take with me just for ideas and of course I'll have my phone and not sure I'm going to take my tablet or not but you know to get some ideas on YouTube or Pinterest but I honestly have no idea I'm just going to start working in it and see what come up with if it turns out great I might do another one um, because I'm going to use my vintage photos and my my uh, some old postcards and just some vintage paper cardstock that I've got but what I'd like to do if this turns out well I actually have from both set, uh, sets of parents, I have a lot of old black and white photos, old, very old vintage photos of great, great grandparents and great grandparents and great, great uncles and great, 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 great cousins or whatever. And I would love to do a altered book with very, very old pictures of my family. Um, but I don't want to do it until I've actually tried it and so that's why this is going to be kind of my trial run to see hey number one did I like doing it did it turn out well and do I have the patience to do it again so that's going to be the catch-all um, but anyways happy weekend happy crafting and I will uh, hopefully show you all something when I come back next week with the album stay safe everybody